Good morning, good afternoon, and welcome back to Watching Chickies. Now here on day 257, part 3 of our broadcast. Our last broadcast had a couple of technical issues. Um, I couldn't see the comments that were coming in on the chat, and then we unexpectedly had a little crash. But we are back. Braveheart is enjoying a few bits of lovely grass. And hopefully this time, when we do have comments coming in, I will be able to see the comments, hopefully. Fingers crossed. And Braveheart's just having a snack of a few more pieces of grass here. We're pretty close to the coop, so I might try to pick her up and let's see if we could get her to move a bit further onto the lawn. Oh, it's okay, my dear. It's okay. Now let's get you a little bit further into the lawn, and let's see if we can go on a little walk, okay? I know. Now she is not a fan of the wind at the moment. She is not, but you recognize that coop. You've been in it so many times. You have, it's just not here in the winter months. Now I think I see a few little pieces of clover right there in front of you. Oh, so do you, so do you. Lovely. Yeah, she recognizes clover. That's one of your favorite things to eat here on the lawn. That's a good girl. So the only thing she's really worried about right now are the occasional gusts of wind that are coming in. Hello there, Braveheart. You scooted that boot right into me. So she's just foraging for a few little bits of clover and other vegetation throughout the lawn. Uh, we've had a lot of snow lately. It started to melt away. But, um, you know, we're still having some cold days and a lot of wind right now. Oh dear. Need a little reassurance there? I think you have a little bit of a snack still there in your mouth. Good girl, good girl. Uh, Braveheart is an Ayam Samani hen. And she's quite the lovely girl. Now letting her get a bit more fresh air today is a good thing. Though it is still a little bit cold, so we'll probably only be on out here for a few more minutes. I don't want her to catch a chill or anything. We do kind of coddle our chickens. They are pet chickens, members of our family, and friends for life. You still got that stuck on the side of your beak right there. Right there. Here. See? That was stuck in your beak. There you go. Oh, scooting the boot right into me. Oh dear. Do you want to go on a further walk than this? I'm just trying to see if she wants to go around certain places, but she seems quite content today just to be right next to me like this. And if any of you have any questions, thoughts, concerns, feel free to ask them here. You know, we kind of treat watching chickies as just almost like a, um, a little bit of daily chicken therapy. Just watching the chickens do their regular thing it can be quite calming. It can just recharge the batteries. Oh, there you go. It's okay. She doesn't like the loud noises. There you go, girl. Just enjoy your meal. It's okay. Dad's here. Dad's here. A few more little pieces of grass, and she can be quite happy. She'll be telling Kagome and Stormy about going outside. I'll help her out of her little harness. Oh, she does not like that wind. Yeah? There you go. Is this a better spot? Yeah? Are you blocked by the wind by your old coop there? There you go, Mr. 
Miss Braveheart. It's okay. It's a little bit colder out here. So I think we're getting close towards the end time here, where we're going to be bringing her back inside. She does seem a little bit cold to me right now. There you go. There you go, Miss Braveheart. There you go. How about we go see what the other two are up to? How about that? So let's walk you safely inside. We'll go see what the other two little chickies are up to. Yeah. I think you're going to like that, because I think you are getting a little cold, and you know what? So am I. Yeah. Alright. Let's get the door open. Oh, have to deal with my camera for a second. Oh. Or you can just step right on the camera there. There we go. There we go. Braveheart's taking a position right here on my wrist. Oh dear. Now Braveheart, that's not the best angle there. Yeah. Shoulder. 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 There we go. There's us in the mirror there. So I can hear a little bit of an argument happening from downstairs. And that's going to be from Mr. Stormy and Miss Kagome. So we're going to see how well they have been getting along in our absence. Oh, my little bird sickle, are you a little bit cold now? It's okay. Good girl. Oh, oh, oh. Hello, Stormy. Hello, Miss Kagome. Now, Braveheart, I'm going to need you. Oh, you want to stay right on my shoulder? Oh, oh. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, and Stormy chose this moment to mate with Braveheart. Oh dear. Braveheart, come here. Let me get the let me get the harness off you. I know, I know, he was a jerk there. He was a jerk. Oh dear. Here. I'm gonna put the camera down for just a second. Stormy. You little brute. I, she was not saying she wanted to mate there. She just wanted to get her harness off. Oh dear. So let's put the camera down for just a second. And I'll get to taking her harness off. Hey, come You don't need to take it off. I take it off. a good job today, Braveheart. That was a nice little walk you took. I know. All right. Well, now that we're inside, we can spend a few more minutes together. Um, Ang Wu 21, they are in my house right here. This is a special room devoted to the chickens. 
Um, we are in our winter months here. Our chickens are a mix of indoor, outdoor birds. Uh, as you can see when we were outside, there's still a bit of snow outside. It's still a little bit cold. Yeah, Miss Kagome, I got some sesame seeds. I'm spreading them around here on. Oh, he's such a happy boy. Now I'm gonna give some to the girls as well, so they are not left out. So I'm gonna put some right here next to Braveheart. Oh, Miss Kagome is going for this lo load, but here, here, Miss Braveheart, Miss Braveheart, it's okay. Let's get you some seeds as well. I'll just put a whole bunch over here and over there so you can have a little bit of a treat too. Uh, we have three chickens. We have our Ayamsamani hen over here named Braveheart. Over here we have our Onagodori hen named Kagome. And down here we have our silky rooster named Stormy. All three of them make one little flock. Uh, they've been together their entire lives. They were all hatched on the same day. And they are lovely little members of our family there. Kazoon tight there, Miss Braveheart. So we're really raising like a pack of just little dinosaurs here. And they're all eating their own little sesame see treats in the different areas that I spread about. Stormy is quite pleased, Miss Kagome looks quite pleased, and so does our Braveheart, who had a lovely little adventure outside, doing a little bit of harness training. Um, she didn't seem to like the howling wind that was going on. It got a little bit cold. Yeah, it was cold outside, Stormy, but we're inside here where it is nice and warm for our little chickies. So they're just making some nice little clucking noises as they go about. And Stormy likes to make other noises as well as he tries to get a bit of attention from the girls. And quite a nice time. Uh, outside. Um, Braveheart was quite the good girl in her harness. The first few times when we used the chicken harnesses, they definitely did not know what was going on. But um, now they have all really started to embrace them. And it's a good way to kind of show them places that they don't really know as well. And, you know, in the future, um, when we might take them to other places, um, there's like a couple parks and things nearby us. We can just, um, you know, have a nice time together and, you know, they won't get lost or anything. So that is great. Oh, I just got a notification that I got, um, a little award there, but I can't see it here on the chat. So I'm wondering if we are having some chat errors again. So far I have just seen uh, Ang Wu's um, comments. So, you know, if um, anyone else wants to say something, now's a great time for me to test. Well, Stormy is enjoying his seeds there. Oh, the girls have come together in this spot. And Braveheart, what's that hanging from your butt? Oh dear. Uh, Ang Wu, yes, the uh, chickens uh, are outside in the coop during the summer. Sleep on top as they just kind of perch. Uh, in here, we also have little nesting beds for the chickens to go use when they want to um, lay some eggs. So overall, it's a pretty nice setup here. Um, in the future, we do have some plans for uh, 
possibly uh, getting a greenhouse for the chickens um, in which we can put their coop where we can actually grow a lot of fresh things for them and then they would be entirely safe from the local wildlife. So that way they have their own special sort of indoor area that also has elements of the outdoors. So I think that will be our sort of ultimate um, goal. Um, you know, if that sort of pans out, it will be on the property that we might be getting that would be getting geothermal heating. So we can even make sure that the, uh, the um, greenhouse is heated throughout the colder sort of fall and winter months. Hello there, Miss Braveheart. Oh, you're enjoying your food now, aren't you? Good girl. She does spend quite a bit of time with me. She likes kind of jumping up onto my lap getting lots of pets. Oh, and thank you, Ang Wu, 21. They are quite lovely little chickens. Watching them grow up from the tiny little And Stormy's telling me that I'm not paying enough attention to him. <laughs> so I gotta pick up our little rooster boy here. And I gotta give him a few pets because <laughs> needy, even little rooster boys like you. What is it? The girls aren't playing with you? Well, you were a little rough with Braveheart before, so I don't really blame them. They want their alone time over there. They're just eating some seeds. They're looking outside where they don't have to be cold. They get to appreciate the outside. What? Did you want more seeds, Mr. Fluffy Butt? Oh, dear. Our little... You're the fluffiest boy. There you go. There you go. All right. <laughs> yeah. You can jump. And there he goes. What? What, what, what? Are you doing your little mating dance down there? Trying to get the girl's attention? I think they're too busy eating their treats, my son. Oh, just a little drink of water. That's pretty nice as well. Yeah? Oh my. Likes to kind of narrate as he goes along, just kind of imitating me. Sometimes he'll even kind of make noises. I think these little chickens are quite amazing in their own right. They've developed their own little personalities as they've grown up. They own a place in my heart. Yeah there, Miss Kagome? Now, Miss Kagome's tail feathers are about 17 inches long. They will... There you go. What you doing there, Miss... Braveheart butt right there. Kagome just looked up at me as I said that. Oh dear, was I a little bit too rude? Sorry about that. Me feather right here. Interesting, interesting. Did you leave this feather over there, Mr. Stormy? Yeah, maybe you did? All right, I'll just put it in a little feather jar. There you know. Cluck, 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 cluck. Oh my. Yeah? Want to say anything else? Just a few clucks? I don't think that's going to get the girls down. You're going to have to do more than cluck. You do know how to crow, don't you? You do? You're still thinking about it? Oh, so let's get you a little bit more parsley. I'm going to add it to your 
a little bit of oatmeal here. Let's get you some more parsley. I know you like the green stuff. There you go. What's that, Kagome? You're happy with your sesame seeds up there? Oh, dear. Well, could you persuade them to come down, Mr. Parsley? Just a few little pets. Now, I don't know about you, but if I tried to eat just a whole bunch of parsley like that, I would Im immediately need to drink some water. That would dry out my mouth so quickly. Are you going to go for some water yourself, Mr. Stormy? Yeah? You happy that I just sat next to you like this? Oh dear, oh dear, Mr. Fuzzy Butt. Oh, and what's that, Miss Kagome? Did you see the parsley? And Miss Braveheart's jumping down too. Oh dear, here she comes. Or did you just want to see me? Yeah? Did you want to pack up my socks? She does love doing that. And Sioni boy, 120, hello there. <gasps> Miss Kagome, did you come down here for the parsley? I knew it, I knew it. There you go. Oh, and thank you, Wolf Fox. I find it quite relaxing just to stream our little chickens here each day. I consider it our little moment of chicken therapy each day just to kind of recharge our batteries just watching the little chickens be themselves. A bit of parsley. And Miss Kagome looks like she might be interested in a sand bath in the corner in a little bit. She's kind of venturing over there, playing on this. Our kind of most metal haircut, I think, about all our little chickens. He's kind of glam rock when you look at his hairdo. And Braveheart here, she's a lovely hen. Leonard. They are known for their hyperpigmentation, which means their black coloration goes all the way down to their very bones. Um, you know, all of these little chickens. Actually, here's Stormy, our rooster. Their breed originally comes from China. And the Onigadori Kagome. Her breed comes from Japan. Uh, they are actually an endangered breed of chicken. Oh, and no worries there, uh, Sioni boy. And it's always lovely just watching the chickens go along their day, enjoying their treats, and enjoying our company. Yeah? Wanna say? Uh, Stormy himself, he also has hyperpigmentation, so his, so his skin is black, his muscles are black, his organs are black, even his bones. So when Miss Braveheart and Mr. Stormy have a, a chick together, uh, the chick will most likely have that tr um, It's a mystery whether or not when Stormy has a chick with Miss Kagome, if the chick will have hyperpigmentation. But I think it would be quite interesting to see an Onigadori um, that is entirely black. Um, you know, since the Onigadori tail feathers grow out to be more than 20 feet in length, that would be quite the sight. And Miss Braveheart's just kind of looking at a few little spots here on the blanket. They do love playing here on the blanket. Their sort of regular feed is over here in their feeder. And it's a mix of organic feed with seeds. Um, we also put their, oh, and Ang, and um, Ang Wu 21. No, all roosters aren't mean. Um, for one thing, we've hand raised these little chickens, which is why they're quite nice. Um, but you know, um, the sort of temperament of chickens can vary wildly between their different breeds. And you know, they're, they can be little individuals too. So you might get one member of one breed that is quite nice, and then you might get another one that's just a little jerk. Uh, we lucked out with our Mr. Stormy here. He's quite the nice fellow with us. He even sometimes watches TV with us. Oh, and thank you, Wolf Fox. Uh, we've been streaming here on Reddit now for about, uh, well, this is day 257. 
So we've had some days where we have just a handful of people watching us, and then we've had other days where we've had thousands of people watching us at once. Uh, but no matter how many people are watching, it's just... Um, these are actually our first three chickens. Um, it'll be lovely to see how the hybrid are only allowed to have up to one rooster um, and eight hens. So we, have, we would have to find a nice new home for that rooster. We would have to find either a nice farm or another sort of backyard chicken owner like ourselves. Which I need to put into the washing machine. Now that I always kind of like the little forbidden things. And it doesn't usually end too well. Uh, we've given them a xylophone and, well, Stormy hates it. <laughs> Um, whenever I take it out, he just kind of freaks out a little bit. So we've had to kind of keep it in a drawer over there. Don't whine to me. I could give you a cuddle if you want. Did you want more? Maybe a few more little bites there? A little bit more oatmeal. There's some cinnamon in there too. And of course, there's your parsley. <gasps> My little man, you came too close. You came too close. Now it's time for a cuddle. There you go. There you go, my little rooster boy. Hello. Are you pecking at his feathers there? Kind of inspect him as he's in my lap getting a little cuddle. Are you jealous there, Braveheart? You're jealous. Oh, dear. See, chickens can get jealous of attention. <laughs> um, all of these little chickens are members of our family and friends for life, so they will never be eaten. We want them to live long, happy, and healthy lives. Oh, Braveheart's coming up to us. She's like, why are you giving Stormy all of these pets and not me? Oh, it's a little stare down there. It's okay. It's okay, Miss Braveheart. I could give you pets, too. Oh, no. Stormy got away. Mr. Fuzzy Butt is on the prowl. Oh, dear, oh, dear. There you go. He made his little escape because of you, Braveheart. Were you distracting me? Oh, no. All the while, Kagome is just being kind of eaten at the treat here. The uh, oatmeal with a little bit of cinnamon, which helps their respiratory tract. And of course, the parsley. There we go. Yeah, Mr. Stormy? That was quite the little noise you made there. He always loves to be the center of the eating her treats. She does seem to be a fan of the parsley. I'm kind of watching her pick the little bits of green out between the oatmeal. I love his little noises. Just sounding like a little balloon. Oh, look at him puff out his chest there. Hello there, our little man. Yeah? Are you a big chicken? Are you a big chicken? No, you're a big rooster. Yes, you are. He's giving Braveheart a little bit of a look as she goes and kind of nibbles on a little bit of food that's here on the blanket. All right. What do you think, Kagome? Is that a good meal? Just pecking away. Miss Braveheart, did you have a good walk outside? I'd like to hope so. The little harnesses are right there against the wall. Um, I think tomorrow we might take Miss Kagome or Stormy out for a little walk instead. What do you think, Stormy? Would you like to go for a walk outside? Yeah? Maybe in a few minutes? Or maybe tomorrow? Yeah, I think tomorrow would be a better bet. Things are already starting to get a little bit colder. Braveheart's just coming out to check me out here. Hey, 
There you go. What? Pecking at my shirt. I'm just laying down. I'm okay. They kind of check me out if I kind of sit down or lay down. Hi. Yeah, I'm on your level right now. Good girl. Yeah? A few little murmurs? Okay, I'll get up. I'll get up. Having a little chicken try to pull you up. Oh, dear. Oh, Stormy. Oh. Congratulations, everyone. I think that was less than two seconds. Uh, Stormy. Well, Stormy's mating. You want more attention? You just mated with Miss Kagome. Jeez. Up. Flap, flap, flap. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, I think this is going to be our last broadcast of the day. Miss Kagome is just having a little bit of water over there. Beak full, and then head back. Um, we will be back around uh, tomorrow around 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you've enjoyed this broadcast, feel free to check out my profile, where there are links to our YouTube page and our Instagram and more. Um, Owls of Fluff, that could fit into just one hand, to the young adult chickens you see here today.